welcome to the testing word in this session we are going to understand types of web services we have two type of web services one is soap services and other is rest services so we are going to understand detail of these two services in this session first we will understand what is soap service so soap stand for simple object access protocol soap is itself a protocol which is going to use http protocol to transfer the data between my machine and to the web server means whatever the request we are sending from my machine to the server and whatever the result we are receiving from the server to my machine the data exchange will take place by using http protocol soap is a wrapper over the http protocol so in case of the soap services we are going to use two protocols one is soap and other one is http in soap services message exchange between the service and the application means request and response exchange between my machine and the server it will take place in the format of xml so whatever the input we are going to send will be in the form of xml and whatever the output we are going to get from the server that will again in the form of xml it's a standard way to develop the web service it's a old way to develop web services so it's a standard conventional and heavy heavy means because we are sending a lot of data to the server and in xml we have to pass the tags as well hope you know what is tag so in soap we have to pass data as well as tag for each data we have two tags as well starting tag and end tag i'll show you what do you mean by the tag so we have a starting tag and end tag that's because we are sending a lot of data to the server and again we are getting response from the server in the form of xml so a lot of tags are coming to my machine from the server so it's a heavy input as well as output in soap services we are going to use wisdl it's a web service definition language file we are going to understand this wisdl in the next slide so to work on soap services we need wisdl we need to understand what do you mean by the wisdl w s d l so wisdl w s d l stands for web service description language it's a base file which is used to describe web service and how to access that so it will be a file in which everything will be mentioned about the soap service like what all the functionalities are provided by this web service how we can access that web service what kind of response we are going to get from the web service what kind of input or we can send request we can send to the web service so everything about the web service will be mentioned in this wisdl file it is again a xml file so uh, this wisdl file again developed in the xml format so to start testing on soap web services the first requirement which we are having is this wisdl file so we have to understand wisdl architecture so in wisdl we have mainly four elements one is types which describe all the data types which used in the web service so again like any other programming language this is in services as well what are the different inputs we are going to get should have any specific data type all the data types which will be received which will be received in the input or what all the data type which we are going to send in output these data types will be mentioned in this type section messages we can understand it like i'm going to receive a zip code so zip code is a message i'm going to return address line 1 address line 2 address line 3 so these address line 1 2 and 3 are the messages means if i compare this with any programming language so whatever the name of the variable we are giving these are messages over here port type is the different operations which are supported by the web service so different operations means my web service support uh, it can validate address that is one operation it can clean address that is second operation or if you talk about the weather information so it will give 
today's weather information that is one service it can forecast tomorrow's weather it could be a second uh, operation so what all the operations is performed by the web service will be mentioned in this port type and binding is the communication protocol which is used in the web service so that will be mentioned in the binding that's my visual file I'm going to show you how does it look like so that is one of the visual file and here you can see we have four sections one is the type here we can see the type and then we have a lot of messages so you can check like one message name is get weather soap in other message name is get weather soap out so what all the messages are used are mentioned over here if we go to the bottom so we have seen like in Bizdal we have the type we have messages then we have operations so here you can check these are the operations like first operation is get weather other operation is get cities by country so what all the different operations will be performed by this web service is mentioned over here so that's my visual file and this is the file which we are going to use while testing soap services next type of service is rest service rest is the other way to develop web services REST uses HTTP or maybe other protocol which can perform the operations like GET, POST, PUT and DELETE. So in case of the REST services we can use GET means we are picking some data, we are getting some data from the server. POST means we are posting some data to the server, posting new data to the server. PUT means we are updating some data to the server and DELETE we are deleting some data from the server. So it's a new way to develop web services. It's a lightweight because it supports few formats which are very lightweight format like it support plain text, it support JSON. So it's a lightweight format. It uses WADL like in SOAP services we have WSDL. In REST services we have WADL. It is Web Application Definition Language. REST itself is not a protocol. It's just a way it describe like how my client should interact with the server rest stand for representation state transfer each of the functionalities which we can access by using rest services we call it a resource so I'm taking example of any text calculation web service which is providing different functionalities like it can calculate income tax, it, it can calculate sale tax, service tax, all these functionalities, we call it resource in REST services. So each functionality can be accessed by the URI. The advantage of the REST service is that rather than accessing the complete application, we can access only one functionality of the application. And each and every functionality can be accessed by the unique URI. In case of the SOAP services, we are getting WSDL means we are accessing complete application. But in case of the REST services, if you want to access complete application, we can go to the WADL. We can use WADL. But if you want to access only particular functionality, only one functionality, we can use URI. One more very important feature of the REST services is that it support a lot of formats. Means it support HTML, XML, plain text, JSON, PDF, HTML and many other formats. So means we can send requests in these formats. We can receive the data from the server. We can receive response again in these formats. So advantage is that it is supporting many formats for the request and response. These are the few URIs which I'm going to show you. Again, I'll explain what is URI. So one application can have 100 functionalities. So if you want to access all the functionalities, we need WADL. WADL will bring all the functionalities. We can test it. We can use it. But if we want to test, if we want to use only particular functionality in case of the REST services, we can access that functionality by using its URI. So these are the two URI of, of REST services. One URI is for getting all customer data and other URI is to getting any customer data which is having the number which is having ID 3 
so i'll show you that is the uri that is a uri of one resource one functionality which is provided by rest service i'm just passing the customer id it is giving the specific customer data but we can access one more uri it will bring all customer data so each functionality in rest service is called resource each resource can be accessed by using uri so that's all we have for type of web services thanks for watching this video hello friends hope you are enjoying our videos here we have created lot of video courses which are specially designed for software testers this is the list of our courses we have more than 30 unique courses which you can buy in dollar 200 if you want to buy any 10 courses you can take it in dollar 100 and you can buy any individual course in dollar 15 you can contact us on email or the number which i have provided for these videos